So guys, um, good evening po sa inyong lahat. So we are here in our sixth um, video tutorial and today, um, gagawin lang natin is we're going to apply some formulas to C. Wala lang guys, pag-isipan ko lang at least maging aware tayo na kung paano yung kunwari, yung standard, yung quadratic formula. Di ba paano yun ma-apply yung formula na yun sa C? So, wala lang. Related lang kasi yan, guys, sa PEMDAS, yung last topic natin ng mga basic operators, kung yung rules, yung hierarchy. So, pero hindi naman natin, natin ano yung yung quadratic formula cards. Medyo mahaba na yun. So, yung simple lang. Ayan. So, guys, now, sulat na na yung basic startup ng C language, ng C programs, or it may right so let's um una, una guys um so by the way pala um nakalimutan ako sabihin sa inyo na pwede pala when you declare variables pwede rin pala na ganito ang um, kunwari a integer a a tapos comma b c d Ganyan. Pwede rin po ang ganyan na pag-declare ng variable. Pareho lang naman yan guys sa kunwari nagsasabi ka ng integer a, integer b, in c, ganyan. Sorry guys, sana kalimutan ko. Pareho lang naman yan guys. Parang, ang par parang purpose lang dito is parang at least napapadali ang pag-declare. And pwede rin na, na kunwari int a is equal to 2. Pero, uh, kung at kung may sunod ka pang variable na declare separated lang by comma, and for example dito, 1, separated lang by comma, and kung, at sa last, kung may declare ka dito, for example, d is equal to 2, at ako wala ka ng kasunod, syempre, semicolon na, semicolon. Yun guys, so, yun lang naman. Ay, leave ko lang to ng comment, at least para alaman nyo yun. So, so guys, let's do some basic operations lang. So, gawin natin to in a um, scan F, yung mag ask sa user. So, let's do it. So, print F. Um, may naisip ako guys, um, ito. Um, enter, uh, please, enter your current age. Backslash N, of course. Oops, may nakalimutan ako. In, oh, let's make it float, guys. Let's make it float. Or integer na lang. Hmm. Integer na lang. Let's make it int age. Integer na lang. So, mag-ask tayo sa user. Para na nga yun. Yung sabi ko dati is scanf. Scanf. Open and closing parenthesis. Then, the format specifier for integer. I, then, the variable, oops, the ampersand pala, kalimutan ko. Then, just means na, kung anong in-enter dito ng user, may store sa variable age of type integer. So, don't forget the semicolon. So guys, um, pag-isipan ko gumawa na parang code na, once you, you entered your age, display yung age of girls yung edad ng mga babae na pwede mong i-date so, <laughs> so bakit nga yun na pag-isipan ko wala lang, wala lang, trip lang natin so at least na-apply natin so for example um, integer um, i-declare natin sa taas para mas integer girl age underscore age. Pwede yan guys. Underscore. So, na ano ko lang yung, the formula I think is girl underscore age is equal to our age divided by 2 plus 7. Yun lang naman guys. Wala naman na wala naman na very special. So, print na natin. Print F um ang, ang sabihin natin um, recom 
recommended age to date a girl is percent i cause it's an integer and the variable is nothing makita which is girl underscore age then lagay natin dito guys ito yung sige yung return value lang naman yan so let's do this so enter your current age my age is current 19 recommend age to date a girl is 16 so pwede pala akong mag date na 16 year old girl it's very awkward <laughs> awkward so Actually, hindi ako mag-date ng 16-year-old girl kasi meron na akong girl in my life. So, <laughs> kaya guys, you can use this formula for computing na kung anong age allowed kayo mag-date ng girl kasi yun, magagamit nyo rin yan. For example, ah, sa mga 25 years old dyan, o oh, 19, pwede kayo ng 19. So, yun. Comment out ko lang guys, ah. Comment out ko lang. And for the next one is apply natin yung formula sa pag-convert ng Celsius to Fahrenheit. And gawin ulit natin yan sa pag-scanner. So ito guys, search ko lang sa Google kung ano yung formula. So let's get on with it. So i-minimize. Oops. Minimize ko lang guys. Yan. Para makita ko yung formula yung kasi sa ulo yung formula eh. So, uh, yes. So, let's declare itong mga needed variable. Ang needed variable naman lang naman is yung para sa Celsius is yung Fahrenheit. So, um, let's make it load because it's very clear na sa formula expected. Uh, hindi ba sabi ko sa inyo guys na whenever you are expecting expecting a real number result always it's always a good idea na make the variables to be float para at least walang problema sa pag compute so yun then for example float float Fahrenheit Fahrenheit lang hindi na pwede na yan so print f enter the value of f Assume na lang guys na Fahrenheit na na. So, yan lang na natin yung backslash n. Backslash n. Then, scan f. Percent. But, f. Because it's float. Then, ampersand. Then, the name of the variable, Fahrenheit. For example, um, then, i-apply na natin yung ano, the float. Cell shoes, cell, let's just make it cell. And the return na natin, guys, is equal to. So, pa, the value of the Fahren with enter, Fahren minus 32 times 5 divided by 9. So, yun, guys. And print out natin. Uh, C plus is the Celsius is equal to percent F. Let's make it guys 0.2 F on the decimal places para lang masyado na na. Then the name of the variable here. Kasi maging value nito is ito which is yung cell. And semicolon. So yun. Then let's make this run. So, enter the value of F, which is, in case, our Fahrenheit. For example, um, 50, right? Yeah, C is equal to. Let's check it, guys. Check natin sa Google. So, um, Celsius, Celsius, Fahrenheit. So, ano nga yun, guys? Um, Kinakonvert natin yung value ng F. So, baliktad tayo. Celsius. Cel Celsius. Yun nga yung inantor ko. It's 50. So, 50. So, tama. Tama tayo. It's actually 10. So, 
yun. Then, gawin, gawin rin natin yung sa comment out ko ulit guys ha. Gawin in na rin natin yung sa Celsius to Fahrenheit. I mean, yes, Celsius to Fahrenheit. So, sample, um, let's make it float again. Um, float cell and print f enter the value of cell cells make it cell so um the one oh forget the semicolon guys so para mag next line so scan f no so percent f as it's because it's float and the ampersand of the cell yes then float f paren direction na natin guys equal to equal to open and closing in enter natin ang value ng cell choose which is cell times 9 divided by 5 plus 32 then print f print na natin so print f then the value na kung ano gusto natin makita which is foreign so yan and kunwari enter tayo ng decimal kunwari ang 15 point 21 59. Point, oops, lagyan natin guys ng level para at least presentable. Value of f is equal to yeah, ganyan. So Ganyan nga yun ang ko, um, 15.21, di ba? The value of f is 59.3 set. Check natin sa Google. Uh, Celsius. Yan. Yan nga guys, yung enter ko. 15.21. So, 59, 59.37. 59.378. Oh, okay lang yan guys. Renan up kasi to. 8 na to kasi yung rounding up. So, that's it guys. Um, Thank you for watching this tutorial. So, yun lang guys, basic ang lang, application lang of the conversion of Celsius to Fahrenheit. So, if you want guys, you can experiment mga basic conversion. Kunwari yung mga formula nyo sa physics, pwede nyo, pwede nyo yun i-code. Saka yung, yung mga sa calculus. There are may mga paraan yan na pwede i-code sa C at saka yun, may at least parang gumagawa kayo ng salili yung converter diba? so guys, um, thank you for watching this lesson and I hope may natutunan kayo and for pag may questions, just comment down below so, thanks bye bye